working well. Hi, I'm Eileen Turtle. Welcome to Balmy Spirit. This is the Aries uh, monthly general tarot reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you guys are doing great. There's a part two over on Patreon. You can also find it on Vimeo. Links are below for your convenience. So as you can tell, not my normal vicinity. Um, I'm also using a hotspot. So we'll see how this goes. I hope it's not spotty. It took a lot of attempts to even just get this going. But anyway, Aries, let's just go ahead and dive in. So it was interesting when I first started to try to record for you, a hummingbird showed up and I was like, oh, that feels like a sign. Um, and then I started getting the moon. A lot of moon energy was coming through. Now, I'm recording this on the 14th. So the new moon in Leo is approaching very fast. This new moon could be really important for you, especially because you're a fire sign. There's a lot of Aries activities surrounding Chiron and Eris as it relates to Venus being in Leo, uh, the North Node being in Aries. Oh yeah, duh, North Node being in Aries as well. I keep forgetting that that's already like flipped over. Um, and the Sun being in Leo, there's just so much fire. And so all my fire signs are going to be affected and supported by all of the Aries, Leo energy, and of course your Aries. So I do think that that has something to do with it as to why the moon was coming through for you. Um, hummingbird to come out like that usually is a sign of like a rush of positive energy or a rush of like vitality even in a way of um some people might experience it as like be as feeling really connected so i'm curious to see what's coming up for you aries it almost feels like you're coming either into a more in tune state with that moon energy or even coming out of a period of lack of clarity or even lethargy lethargy just came up but i'm curious for you so let's go ahead and get started i have some of my decks here i don't have all of them um oh yeah native spirit deck okay Native Spirit Deck wants to work with you, so let's go ahead and get started, Aries. Mm, yeah, they keep showing me the moon card. They keep showing me the moon card. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The more I get into this moon energy for you, the more I feel like it actually relates. <laughs> A couple cards just came out. Um, I'm not taking them, but I will show them to you because I just like dropped them. Hold on a second. Spirit of fire and spirit of air. We'll see if they come out again. Interesting elements to come out for you. But again, with this moon energy, yeah, I feel like this is relating to the feminine because I'm also feeling Venus too. I'm also feeling Venus. Now, the moon and Venus for the new moon are not aspecting each other. But before the moon peaks at 23 degrees Leo, the moon will work with Venus. Um, so just depending on where you are in the world, that could be the 16th, that could be the 15th when Venus works with the moon and the moon surpasses her, right, to go into the new moon uh, apex, I guess is the best way to say that. So you may even experience this the 14th, oh, I'm recording the 14th, or the 15th, um, but they just wanted me to, to reference that. Any messages or insights for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter? A lot of bugs are out here, so I'm just keeping an eye. Aries. Ooh, white buffalo. Yeah, see, Aries, I feel like you're coming into a very auspicious time where you're really in tune. You're really aware. Again, this, like, that moon energy, that hummingbird energy, that, like, rush of positive light, that positive energy. White buffalo coming out is usually a sign of a good omen of a turning of ages is a good way to look at the white buffalo. A turning of ages, and it is your time. You may feel also like you're coming out of cards flying everywhere. <laughs> Come here. Um, you may also feel like you're coming out of a bit of a dark night or a really difficult, yeah, smudging ceremony. Yeah, your path is being cleared here, Aries. You're also being encouraged to do any cleansing, um, purifying, detoxifying. Oh, oh, wait, hold on, what is this? Especially things that you're attaching to. There are some things that you're still attaching to on your path that are a little denser that like energetically speaking a little denser than where you want to be where you can be i think is the best way to say that because it's all free will it's up to you if you want to embrace this energy or not but yeah it almost feels like there has been stuff that's been in your way or like mucking things up or making things denser making things a little less clear clarity seems to be a huge thing for you aries this new moon is gonna be really important for you to harness as far as like clearing anything out or starting new things right because it is a new moon but that's what i'm getting some gunk has to be cleared out of your path. And that can be in the form of people, material things, um, lifestyle choices, even environments or even emotions, right? It's like, but I keep getting it's about attachment. It's interesting. I want to do this too. It could be something with like the shoulder, the left shoulder, the left side. 
they're like feminine <laughs> feminine side this is my left i don't know if it's a mirror image or not but anyway so aries time to clean house a little bit to make the path clear for yourself anything else for aries anything else for aries sun moon rising venus jupiter i really gotta watch the time on these <sighs> yeah oh i like it almost getting magician vibes here shapeshifter and then walking in beauty these two cards coming out has this flavor of it's funny i'm noticing the moon too it's a full moon next full moon will be in pisces your neighbor you might even have some piscean placements anyway sorry getting distracted these two cards coming out has this flavor of take the initiative to make the necessary changes especially with smudging ceremony it's like this is the energy that wants to come in the energy that you have the opportunity to embody i keep getting it's your time it's your time things don't have to be mucky things don't have to be as dark as they've been it's your time it's your time positive omen positive omen positive omen of shifts big changes new eras right think of it on that scale of things but it, these cards coming out it's saying here's how to do that like here's how to embrace that shapeshifter that card comes out when it's time to take the intentional action right to shift your perspective even shift yourself as a person or things in your life right like and start to embody the white buffalo by just consciously saying i am the white buffalo and acting as a white buffalo and you will suddenly be the white buffalo right that's what that shape shifter card is referring to and then as you're doing that getting away and clearing house from things that you've been attached to people places things programs emotions etc that have been keeping you from embodying this energy and then we have walking in beauty which is a card of presence a card of gratitude of recognizing the beauty in all things recognizing you can even say the silver lining in all things right because it's like life is not always peaches and cream right things happen trauma happens disappointment happens but understanding that it serves a purpose right we can't always be in the same state we can't always be in the state of like sunshine and rainbows it's just how it goes it facilitates growth right oh excuse me it's just kind of the divine law of, of all things but getting into this place of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel so to speak and seeing how to embody this present moment as the white buffalo but definitely some clearing house that has to happen there okay <laughs> see if anything else wants to come out we're gonna start another deck i'm watching oh butterfly butterfly it's also a lot of wasps out here too that's why i'm like they get so aggressive anything else for aries no okay nice grandfather sky limitlessness we have grandmother earth and grandfather sky right this like masculine feminine principles in a way they're more like primordial in nature than just like how do I say it? It's more than mother father, right? It's I keep getting like a little bit more like that roots energy that we've all been working with for quite a few months. But anyway, coming back to the butterflies, they're going crazy in your reading right now. Grandfather Sky coming out is this energy of saying, hey, connect to the limitlessness of all things, connect to all possibilities, ethers, if you will, even upper chakras. But I keep getting drawn back to the roots for you, like a reminder of the roots. Some of you may need to let go of some things that are affecting your lower chakra systems, like your lower body or feeling grounded or feeling safe, secure, creative, playful, confident, all of those sort of things, right? Um, but the more grounded you are, the more rooted you are in your body in that way, the more you can grow and rise and connect to these higher frequencies. But this is a card to come out to say, um, you set the limits with your own belief. We really do. We, we really do. We set our own limitations with our own belief. There's always a way. This has been coming up recently in the collective too. There's always a way. There's always a way. There's always a way, but it's up to you to see the path, right? It's up to you to see the path or make your path. And you're Aries. You can do that. If anybody can do that, you can do that. But to get into the state of limitless thinking and perception, yeah. And then flowing river. And then flow to where your energy wants to go, right? It's line, aligning with your intention, aligning with that white buffalo energy. But you're the one who has to see it. You're the one who has to make space and break your own limitations to do so. Okay? All right, Aries. We got... Oh, good. Oh, I'm, I'm doing good. We're only 10 minutes in. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull some other cards. I'm really feeling the animal deck for you. The wild unknown animal spirit deck. 
Aries. Any other messages or insights for Aries? Mm. For Aries. For Aries. Okay. Hold on. Getting drawn to plants all of a sudden. Some of you guys could be getting closer to nature or wanting to work more with plants or gardening. You may even be more sensitive to plants. Interesting. Or this could even be like the plants that you eat and consume. Some of you guys may be getting into herbalism or teeth. I just keep seeing a lot of plants and I keep feeling this like growing sensitivity there. So for some of you guys, it's just like a hobby. Some of you are actually realizing you have a gift of sorts. Yeah, but a lot of plants. I see a lot of plants. Aries. Let's see. And there it is. Dragonfly and hyena. This is asking you to shift your perception. Dragonfly, that's literally what this card represents, is a shift in perception or consciousness or awareness, right? It is basically that shapeshifter card. And then with the hyena, you have like the, the half moon, right? It's like the dark side of the moon, the light side of the moon. Illusions, seven of swords energy. Shift your perception and clear out attachments that are making things unclear for you, that are causing illusion. Remember, I got the moon with you initially, right? It's like... I almost want to say come back from the other side of the moon is almost what I want to say with this. Interesting. Um, there's also been a lot of talk about Venus, right? The phases of Venus right now, um, while it's also retrograding and kind of going to like, how do I want to say, like the dark side, so to speak, to come back up and like to rise in the sky so we can see it again. I'm also getting a little bit of vibes like that. But anyway, shift your perception, shift your perception. Divine Feminine Principle with the deer. And, ooh. Nice. Okay. Bee and Crow. We got a lot of magic in these two cards alone. It's, again, it's about the way that you co-create and cultivate based off of your own perceptions. I just keep coming back to that, right? You can only co-create as, as far as your own parameters and, and self-limitations allow you to. This is really breaking through that because Crow is literally the card of magic and alchemy. In transmutation also divine messenger um, but b is the energy of work hard work cultivation right and usually pays off in some sort of reward or award sorry my words are like not with me today it's been it's been an interesting week i'm a little tired um but that's what i'm getting with you that's what i'm getting with you as you see where you've been limiting yourself and your attachments it keeps getting it's like emotional and energetic and you see the limitlessness or you move closer to, I want to say closer to, closer to limitless perception and thought and thinking and belief, you can make that much more magic happen in your life. I feel like I want to say more, but that was all that was necessary. Okay. Anything else for Aries? Anything else for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, on the bottom, we have the swan. This is moving into a state or perception of wholeness, feeling at home within the self, feeling very much uh, comfortable with all aspects of self, but also can speak of partnership. Um, I feel like this is all about you. I don't feel like I don't feel that partnership energy. I feel like this is all about you getting out of your own way, to be honest with you, and then getting into the space where you can co-create what you've been having trouble co-creating or bringing into your reality. Yeah, underneath that, we have black egg, the throat shock. The throat chakra, while it is about communication, it's also about your own personal truth, beliefs, perceptions, things of that nature. That's why it's also so closely related to the third eye chakra. But anyway, breaking out of that shell, breaking out of your own limitations, your own limiting beliefs, your own illusions, even. Very nice, Aries. Um, God, I did this fast, 14 minutes. Um... I really want to get into the tarot portion, but I'm going to save that for part two. So 1441, I looked up at the camera. So Aries, I'm going to go into part two and I will see you guys over there. If this is where we depart, I hope you found this enjoyable and helpful. So Aries, essentially clean house, get out of your own way when it comes to your own emotional stuff, attachments, things of that nature, your own perceptions and beliefs about your own capabilities and what is available to you because you will eventually see paths that people have not trekked before. 
right? It's almost like um it's almost like hiking, right? It's like there's the path that everybody takes and you see how people have like kind of gone a little off trail here or there. Well, maybe you're just going to figure it out as you go and you're going to start a whole new little off trail that no one's done before, right? It's like there's always other paths, there's always other options, there's always other ways of doing things. It's up to us to believe believe in them and also just see them. But again, parameters of our own limitations, right? Okay, anyway, I'm I'm yammering. I'm sorry. I'm going to go. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the other side. Take care, Aries.